Hey guys, so I'm gonna be reviewing the Dyson Airwrap uh, and I have got the complete set and this is the new um, exclusive red edition which came out pretty recently and the cost of this is 40,900 rupees so I'm going to show you guys what and all is there inside the box so first uh, is this non-slip uh, heat resistant mat and uh, the storage case is brilliant so now uh, inside the box there are all these uh, tools which I'm going to tell you about so first uh, this is the main cord which has um, all the heat control the air control and this is um, the first volumizing brush uh, one is the firm smoothening brush and there's another smoothening brush which is the soft smoothening brush and this is the one uh, now coming to colors there are two types of air wrap barrels one is the 30 millimeter which is this one for both left and right and uh, uh, the other one is the 40 millimeter air wrap barrels and uh, these are the colors now we go to the uh, last one which is the pre styling uh, dryer and I think uh, all of this equipment come together like this and uh, I think you can see each and everything here so this is the main cord with the power button and it also has a cool shot and uh, that is the heat control it has cool uh, little warm and really hot air and that's the speed control now I'm gonna show you guys how uh, Dyson's gonna work on my hair and that is the lock and the unlock button uh, so I think I've already showed you guys how each of these buttons look now I'm gonna dry my hair a little because uh, I just washed my hair and the best part about the hair dryer is it can control the amount of heat and also the amount of speed. Now I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to use this brush which is the firm smoothening brush. So before that I'm just going to segment my hair and I think all of you can see how curly and wavy my hair looks right now. So let's see how this is going to work. So I'm going to use um, uh, mid heat like not really hot and uh, the first speed. So I'll show you uh, how this works on my hair. Now I'm going to start uh, using the tool and I'm going to start from behind and there are no uh, tricks or anything you know for you to learn on how to do this but I'm just going to start from behind so and see how it works for me and I noticed my hair being a little curly and wavy uh, it takes time I'm going to try from the front and see how it works It took me a lot of uh, attempts to you know make it look really straight so I think you guys can see how much I'm struggling with just that amount of hair um, now I think um, it's pretty much straight so I'm just gonna move on Okay and finally I think you can see the difference between the two sides and I think it's worked out pretty okay uh, and it looks uh, smooth and um, definitely it's made a big change. And now I'm going to move on to the other side and just quickly finish it and uh, I think you guys can see how easy it is to actually uh, do it but it depends on how the texture of your hair is 
Now I'm going to quickly finish the top segments of my hair and show you guys the end result so it doesn't really become a very long and a boring video. I'm finally done and this is the end result of using the firm uh, smoothing brush and I think I'm pretty happy with it because uh, it's really smoothing out my hair and uh, I really like the fact that um, uh, it's made a lot of difference between how it looked uh, before and now. Now I'm going to use the soft smoothing brush and I'm just going to use this for the ends of my hair and uh, I just want to give it that soft look and let's see how this really works. I do really like uh, the soft smoothing brush. I think this works better for me because I have really frizzy hair. Uh, the next tool is the volumizing brush uh, and I'm just going to use this at the top parts of my hair where I don't want it to look really flat. So I volumized my hair from the front so now I'm going to put the brush behind my hair and I'm just going to buff it up. Now I'm going to use this brush to add some volume to the ends of my hair. So now I've damped my hair again uh, and I'm just going to um, dry my hair a little but uh, the curlers work really well on damp hair so this is a 30mm and a 40mm barrel. Uh, I'm going to use the 30mm barrel because I have fine hair and I think I'm going to try this first and this is the 40mm uh, air wrap barrel and I think I'm going to try this in my next video. And these are the two barrels which I'm going to use now, left for left and right for right. And I like outward curls more. I'm going to use the highest heat and the first speed. Uh, and let's see how this works. So this is like the first time I'm using this color and I did struggle a bit in the beginning and now I got the flow so you just have to put the color in the ends of your hair and just uh, let the Dyson do the rest of your work and I'm gonna um, show you guys two or three curls how I do it and uh, you know the rest is gonna be off camera and that is so pretty that was my first attempt and hopefully it stays so yeah see you guys can see it through ends of the hair you just leave the color and then just move upwards and the Dyson does the work so that's the best part about using Dyson uh, curler and I'm gonna use the cool shot because I obviously want my hair which is damp to dry so first you let it heat and then use the cool shot so your hair dries and then just switch it off and then remove the curler And 
I'm done with uh, one side so I think the curls are really beautiful but I'm not sure how long these curls are gonna stay I haven't put any kind of hairspray or hair serum so let's see how long this is gonna stay and just look at the difference between both the sides it's so smooth and uh, beautifully textured now I'm quickly gonna finish my other side so the right arrow is for my right side Uh, so I'm finally done with my curls uh, but I did notice because of the Konda effect which is used in Dyson it's really frizzing up and all my uh, baby hair on the top is like standing out but other than that the curls are beautiful. Woohoo! That's my curls.